Solving this equation means we need to find the value of x which slots into both of these places to make the overall equation true. So I'm going to combine like terms and simplify. If I have 2x to begin and then a minus 5x, in total that's 2 minus 5 or negative 3x. So negative 3x plus 6 is going to equal negative 21. And the next thing I do, subtract 6. On the left side that cancels out and leaves me with just a negative 3x. And on the right side, I need to do the same to balance it. And negative 21 minus 6 is negative 27. Now, finally, to get the x completely alone, I can divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 over negative 3 is 1. So that just leaves me with 1 times x, or x, is equal to negative 27 over negative 3, which is going to be a positive 9. So I am suggesting that 9 is the answer that plugs in and makes us true. Let's do a quick check. Plugging 9 into the original gives me 2 times 9, which is 18, plus 6, minus 5 times 9, which is 45. 18 plus 6 is 24, and when I subtract 45, I do get negative 21, which is what I had in my original, so that's what I expected. Therefore, x equals 9 is the correct answer to this equation. Thank you.